What's happening everyone, it's K2K. I'm coming at you with this season's balance changes and updates. So let's start with the update. You're now going to be able to connect to Facebook and play with your friends. Basically challenge your friends off your Facebook list. Which is cool because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be better than them. <laughs> There's going to be some new events with special challenges. You get guaranteed rumblers. I've just seen the stompery one on hockey so hopefully some it'll be stuff like that and then there's gold rush again that's on hockey so if you win you get to double your gold by watching an ad there's fixes for 2v2 mode it doesn't say anything about inviting a friend i'd like to understand the reason behind that as we've never really had one and it is one of the most requested things i've seen and then fixes for tournament mode hopefully we don't see people still getting stuck in lobbies i've seen far too many of them posts on discord so pro rumblers superstar rumblers and legend rumblers are all going to receive a field time nerf it's basically it's going to be to incentivize leveling them more so for pro rumblers they're going to be reduced by four seconds Superstar Rumblers, 4 seconds. Legend Rumblers, 2 seconds. And so if you get them to maximum level, they're going to be back where they are now. So if you've got them at max level, don't even worry about it. It's not a nerf at all. It's completely fine. I have got to start with this. I've just read that Shiva is going from 3 to 4. Yes! <laughs> it's... And now, uh, now always falls in love with other Sheba. Don't quite understand what that means. Maybe someone can let me know in the comments. Wow, that is a big buff for Tiger. 24% shot power increase. And 8% max speed. <sighs> He's going to be difficult to defend against this season. I'm interested to test him out. Tiny Tanuki is also getting a buff. This is an interesting list so far. Shot power increased by 12%. Max speed by 7%. It looks like the attackers are coming back. Crazy Cat gets a massive shot power increase by 36%. It's going to be really dangerous on this game now. Finally, the Mammoth's going to have hit damage. It couldn't come soon enough with all these attacker buffs. So Cosmin's favourite unit is going to get a buff. Hamster Trio is going to go from 4 to 3. That's a massive buff to him, mate. Um, I hope you enjoy defending against him. Sniper Wolf is going to 4 energy. That means a big field time reduction. So it goes from 21 seconds to 14 seconds. It's max speed goes up by 28%, shot power increased by 9%. Again, I'm super interested to test with this card. It's, it's, it's unused at the minute, so maybe the boss justified. Okay, okay, okay. I, I did read something about this a few days ago on Discord. Reckless Hog going from 6 to 5. At first, when I seen it on Discord, I thought, what on earth are you thinking? But then you see the field time reduction, the stamina reduction. I like it. Hog just dominates the field all the time. It's still going to be dangerous and it's going to combo a lot. But let's see how it goes. A lot of the attackers have received buffs. So maybe Hog won't be too dominant. I, I don't know. I hope you like the video I put together for you. I'll leave a link in the description for the Discord and for the Reddit. Make sure you subscribe. Peace.